Good evening and welcome to Caribou High School as we're getting ready to bring you a Class B matchup between the two Aroostook County Class B teams, Prescott Wildcats and the Caribou Vikings and Molly Kingsbury. Kingsbury jumping center against Violet. And Prescott comes away with it. Schoberg off in the corner to Madison Jondro. Her three is no good. Rims out. Molly Kingsbury there for the putback. Madison Michaud with the drive. The floater's good. And a foul is called, so she's going to have a chance to complete the three-point play. Nice steal there by Susie up ahead to Rodriguez. She's got the easy layup. Timeout being called by the Wildcats. The last three points of the game, forcing the timeout called by Coach Jeff Hudson of the Wildcats. Now Prescott has it. Michaud's going to swing it over to Jondro. Schoberg's going to try a deep three, and it's good. And deep being the key word there. They lob it in to Kingsbury. Schoberg's going to take a three from the corner and nails it. After two consecutive three-pointers by Schoberg. Now Alexis Rodriguez is going to try one, and she drains it. LeBrecht misses the shot. Battle for the rebound. Esplin misses the first time, gets the second, and she's fouled. She can tie it up here. Schoberg will get it to Ryder. Kicks it out to Castoni. Banks the three-pointer. And uh, arms were straight up, but got her with the body, with the bump. They lob it to Kingsbury. Now Castoni dribbles in. To Legassi. She's going to try a three, and it rims in. Kingsbury over to Schober. Gets in on the foul line. Her jumper's good. Nice job by Schoberg not settling for the three, attacking the gap, and having that wide open foul line jumper. Lebrecht high post. Turns around. Drains the foul shot. Turned around. No one was guarding her, and she took advantage. Yeah, that's a big basket for her because now, again, what that's going to do for the defense is have them come up on her, which will, in turn, open things up for Aspling underneath. Madison Jondro gets a look from three-point land, and she hits her second three-pointer of the game. Instead, they went right back to the middle and didn't have a wide-open shot. Jondro, another open look from the corner, hits another three. Rodriguez is going to take a three-pointer, and she drains it. Schoberg misses a three. Lebrecht grabs the rebound. Michaud tries to get in there with those quick hands. Kier was able to retain possession. Susie swishes a three. She's come up with two. Comes out. We'll see how much longer Kayla Brown sticks with Kimmy Susie. Jondro is going to pop a three. Hits another one. Look for the Wildcats to start getting into their offense with about eight, nine seconds left. to Ryder, Schoberg open for three, able to get it to go. Again, some late points at the end of quarter by the Wildcats. Susie with another three. She has come up with some big basket buckets here in this second half. Get them playing man to man a little bit and that's something Coach Brown's gonna have to be thinking about here is, as the clock starts ticking down. They leave Castoni open, and she hits another three-pointer. That is 10 now in the game for Presque Isle. They're just going to play some pass out front. And Susie gets her hands on it. Now Ryder gets the ball down low, kicks it out. Castoni's going to try another three. She gets it to go. With time winding down, trailing by 15. Rodriguez with a nice scoop shot there. Now they get it to the freshman, Faye Schoberg. Will dribble right. Takes off a screen. A three-pointer is good. Drains another one. Her fourth of the game. As Sage Dubé attempts a three-pointer in time. Runs out. 51-35 is the final score. Prescott comes away with a victory.